this snake is very unhappy. You cannot seem to get to me. I am back with a stolen identity. Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. Welcome. Tonight I am doing a What's the Difference video. Um, some of you do know I actually have a fairly large collection of ball pythons. I just I don't know, haven't really been showing them. And so I'm gonna be focusing on them more as I'm expecting a pretty exciting breeding season. So today I'm gonna to be doing a what's the difference between a ghost and an orange ghost morph. I will start by saying that ball pythons are absolutely not my specialty. I'm a very experienced keeper, but because I keep such diverse species, I absolutely do not know as much about ball pythons as a lot of ball python keepers. If I ever misspeak or am looking for more information, I always welcome viewer feedback. Please don't feel shy about letting me know where a morph originated or what animals you can make from it or whatever you know, because a lot of you know so much about ball pythons, I definitely always can learn more. And as a teacher, I know that we all should always be learning. Without spending any more time rambling on, let's get started. This is a beautiful ghost. This is a juvenile animal. This female is a ghost because she has the recessive genes that create hypomelanism. And what that means is that they have a reduced black. There are different lines of the ghost morph and what that does is it reduces the black to chocolatey browns, grays, and almost greens. So this is a visual morph that you get from a recessive gene that was originally produced by NERD, which is the New England Reptile Distributors, and they are very big players in the game. So you'll hear that they're actually the originators of a lot of morphs that we talk about. This larger python is a normal and the smaller one is the ghost and so you can see that the differences are somewhat subtle. It's a little more chocolatey. What's more exciting than the ghost morph and the visual display of the ghost is what you can make with a ghost which is what I'm more excited about. But Still a beautiful snake nonetheless. Now let's take a look at an orange ghost. This is a young orange ghost and my ghost was produced by Isaiah Phillips from Fantasy Reptiles. This beautiful little orange ghost was produced by Mike Holt from Crash Sight Reptiles. I think they're both really amazing creators. Top of the line morphs beautiful colors, nice clean animals, both very serious about their ball python projects. From what I know, the original creator of this morph was Nerd. This is also a hypomelanistic gene. It is recessive. You can just see that it's very similar to the ghost. However, has an orange cast and it's just brighter and more orangey pretty self-explanatory. And again, the stuff that you can make with orange ghost is pretty exciting because a lot of their offspring, when you mix it with some of the other morphs, are really bright and beautiful. And so that's what I'm looking forward to. Not only raising up this beautiful baby, I personally like the little stripe on the tail of this one, I think it's pretty, but what this animal will make for me in the future is what I'm also very excited about. Oh, how cute. They're hugging. <laughs> this one, it's het for pied in snow, but displaying a normal coloration. And obviously you can just see the orange ghost is brighter, has reduced blacks, and it's much orangier. So that's pretty easy to see. So now we have the orange ghost compared to the ghost. And you can just see that the ghost has the reduced black because it's hypo. And then the orange ghost has the reduced black, but it also has the 
orange tinge as well and they have a very nice light head which I think is really pretty. I have a funny little story about the ghost gene. I have a, actually it was Isaiah Phillips from Fantasy Reptiles. In about 2000 he was at a table at an expo next to me and he had a ghost on his table and there was a customer that came along and he was saying, oh, oh, the ghost, oh yeah, can I see that one? I've heard all about it. And he asked to hold it and everything and he said, yeah, this is a ghost. He was telling his friend, can't you see it has the little ghost pattern on the side? And I kind of started laughing because the ghost refers to kind of a gray, bluish cast. And I thought that was really funny that he thought that the ghost morph was named after a ghost shape pattern on the side because all ball pythons have different patterns and a lot of them look like ghosts so that was just a funny little story about early experience my early experiences with the ghost gene so these are both really beautiful snakes ball pythons are amazing because they're really easy to breed super easy to keep they are a great beginner snake and they're always really easy to sell I mean, you don't have to really worry about people buying ball pythons in general, opposed to venomous snakes or reticulated pythons or things like that, because they're just so easy and they're just, they're super easy to care for. They're easy to keep for a lifetime. They're very just docile and friendly snakes. I really enjoy ball pythons. I think that they're underrated. I know that a lot of people aren't very impressed by ball pythons, but from what I know, they're actually the most diverse appearing species of animal in the entire world. And there are, last time I checked, over 3,500 morphs, and that's been a few years ago. And people are coming out with new morphs all the time. So ball pythons are always exciting, and they're a wonderful pet. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this ghost versus orange ghost. I hope this cleared up the genetics of orange ghost versus ghost uh, python regius, ball python. I want to give a special thanks to Crash Site Reptiles, Mike Holt out of here, Roswell, New Mexico. He's absolutely amazing. As well as Isaiah Phillips out of Colorado with Fantasy Reptiles who are the creators of these two beautiful snakes. You guys are awesome and I love you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below what morphs you would like to see next and I'll see you guys next time. You know I see